In this episode, we're gonna share a video with you of the Northern Lights that got us a free stay right here in this very Airbnb. And it's not as hard as you think. Nope, not at all, so stick around. You can do the same thing too. Also, Ace insisted Pete the cat make an appearance. <laughs> I know, I know you will always be the Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Playing With Sticks. We're out here in Alaska in a beautiful Airbnb. Typically, we're out taking our teardrop trailer or small camper trailer through the state, showing you all how to live small but still comfortably and enjoy the ride. On this episode, we wanna share with you a video we made right here about the Aurora, the Northern Lights, and cabin life, and how it got us a free stay right here in this Airbnb. Okay, so we're almost ready to show you the videos of the Northern Lights here out in the cabin and everything we saw that weekend. But I wanna share with you what brought this to my attention. So we woke up this morning and realized we were receiving two services today from two totally different projects. We're heading out to the Airbnb that came from the video work we were doing. And then Jordan, our buddy, is in our house painting some walls today for the work that May did for him in photography. So this right here is Jordan. I actually painted this wall. I'm totally kidding. I actually just painted the ones downstairs. Real little job, so. So why do I say all this? I say this because I don't think people are asking us to make videos or photos because they think ours are better than anyone else's or professional. I think it's because they see we tell a story. And I think that's the secret. For any of you who are out already documenting your adventures in your teardrops and in your trailers and wherever you go, people like this stuff. People love to see a good story. People love to live within that story. And if some way your story intersects with somebody else's, you can hand that story over to them and it becomes a part of their life. If you went to their property and filmed the kayak adventure that they're providing and you give that video to them, you have just given them a great service. It's an outside view into what they're already doing and it has some value to them. And so basically what I'm saying is keep adventuring, keep documenting it, and maybe throwing it back to the people you're involved with and the organizations and they may see something you're not seeing in your video because that's what we're finding. All right, let's roll these auroras. I hope you guys like this one. Hey guys, so this weekend our plan was to just get out in the garage, clean it out, get the teardrop trailer ready, maybe do some caulking, uh, sealing it up a little bit, and I go to open the rear hatch or the galley hatch and I was like, May, did we take the battery out of the teardrop trailer? Well, let's hope this marine battery is, uh, is tough. So, we probably lost that battery. Those marine batteries aren't cheap. So right there, I went back inside, hopped on Airbnb and said, let's get out of here. Let's find a cabin. Let's get out of Anchorage. Let's get out of the city. Let's find something that's just gonna bring our spirits up. Out in the Kanik River Valley, there was a cabin, which is like an hour from here. Threw the little guy in the car, took off, headed up there, started heading up the hill and realized this was a good idea. We needed to get out of the city. We needed to just take a break from life of nine to five or a life of darkness. February and March in Alaska are dark. They are long, they are difficult. It was the best decision we've made in a long time. As we get to the top of the mountain, there's this tiny little cabin just perched on the edge of a cliff. And looking right out the cabin is the Knick River, and then on the end of the river is the Knick Glacier. So we grab all our luggage and start heading down. And as we get down there and step into the cabin, you can tell these people have an eye for detail. So we get in the cabin, we kind of settle in for the night, and I set my alarm for like, I think it was like 2 a.m. or 2.30 or something, hoping to see the northern lights. I wake up about two o'clock. 
I quietly tiptoe to the window, hoping to see the northern lights, and there's nothing out. Luckily, the sky is clear, the stars are everywhere, so I'm still gonna run a time lapse. Each click, I'm starting to see this like haze come across there, and I'm thinking, oh, the, the moon must be casting some light or something, and it's too bright, I'm blowing out my pictures. And as I continue to take them, they just keep getting hazier and hazier, and I look up, and Her out. She was in awe the first time she saw the northern lights and then as quickly as it came, it was gone. So we get up, we make some breakfast, May makes herself some coffee and we just relax. Watching the sun come up, drinking this coffee, only in the frigid north can you have an opportunity like this, like this type of beauty around you in the winter. And from there we decided, let's just go out, let's explore the place, let's see if there's some put-ins down by the river where in the summer we could put our boat in. Let's get on our skis, let's get in the sled, so we just took off. All right, I'm gonna put on my skis quick and I'll meet up with you guys. of the river valley and we get there and I'm looking around and there's a wind and this vast river and these vast mountains and it's like it's just us just right here it's quiet it's peaceful and it was just one of those moments where you're just like I don't want to be anywhere else right now this is this is perfect and May's looking at me and she's going I do want to be somewhere else I want to be in the car because I am cold <laughs> back into the car we head out to the Knick River Bridge and there we take some photos and just walk around it's a neat old bridge that they closed no cars can drive it anymore and you just kind of hang out on it so after skiing and hiking around and walking and crossing the old Knick River Bridge we headed back home and as we start heading home it's getting dark we're watching moose coming through the woods. We're seeing the sun kind of coming down over the valley. Everything is getting calm. It's got this kind of moody feel up near the cabin. 
and as we're walking through the woods, it's just one of those magical moments. The globe lights. The lights coming off the cabin that's hanging over the cliff. And even though it's dark around us because there's so much snow in the valley, it's just light out there. And you can still see the little islands in the river and you can still see the glacier and the mountain. Good night, May. Good night, East. Love you guys. Thanks guys for sticking around for that one. Occasionally we love to throw in one of these Alaska episodes for you. I'm hoping in the near future after a few teardrop episodes to throw in either an Iron Dog video or an Iditarod video, something that's just uniquely Alaskan. Uh, as usual, please subscribe if you haven't. Click down below, click the bell if you wanna get notified every time one of our videos come out. We post videos every two weeks and we're excited to make the next one for you.